In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use WeTransfer to send files. So what you first need to do is head over to the WeTransfer website. To do that, just go ahead and type in WeTransfer.com or go to Google and just type in WeTransfer and it should then be the first one. Now, before you select your files in WeTransfer, I just recommend you go ahead and zip them up and compress them. So I'm just going to send two files here. So I'm going to select them on my file explorer. Then if I right click, I can then compress these to a zip file. Now, I just recommend you compress them into a zip file because it keeps the file size down and just makes everything easier. And I'll just call this zip file zip. Now what we can do, we can go ahead and upload this. So there are two ways that you can upload it. You can either drag the zip file on. So open your file explorer and then drag the zip file on. Or you can click here where it says upload files and then go ahead and find your zip file. So here it is. We can then click open. So now you need to go ahead and enter in this field here, the email to field. Now this is where the email of the downloads will be sent to. Then enter in your own email so the recipient knows who sent it. You can then give this a title and a message if needed. Once you've done that, you can then go ahead and click on transfer and that will start to upload the files to WeTransfer. First, you may need to verify your email though. So I'm gonna to go to my email and get the verification code. So here is that code. We can just copy this and then paste it in here and then click verify. Now it's going to upload the files to WeTransfer and send over the transfer link. So I'll wait for this to upload here and I'll show you what it looks like on the other end. Okay, so now those files have been uploaded, they should then have been sent over to the email. So if I check my inbox here, we should see an email from WeTransfer and you can see here are the files, we can then click get your files. And obviously this will be the recipient, right? And they could then download those files. Just like that, the files have been added to the downloads. So that's how you can use WeTransfer to send files. I hope that did help you out.